Monitoring and logging are two essential pillars of observability in modern software systems. Whether you're a DevOps professional or a developer, mastering observability is key to ensuring that your applications and services perform reliably. In this video, we'll cover what observability is, how monitoring and logging fit into it, and the tools you can use to achieve it. Observability is more than just monitoring. It's about understanding your system's internal state by analyzing outputs. A fully observable system gives you insights not only into current performance, but also into root causes of issues and how they might affect future performance. The three main pillars of observability are metrics, logs, and traces. Metrics help track system health and performance. Logs provide a detailed record of events. Traces follow request flows across components crucial for microservices. Observability gives teams the ability to detect, troubleshoot, and fix problems before they impact users. Imagine a microservices application. When something breaks, observability lets us trace the issue, pinpoint where things went wrong, and quickly respond. This is critical for maintaining user trust and system reliability. Real-time visibility is essential in large systems, especially when you need rapid diagnosis and root cause analysis. Observability also helps in improving application performance and planning for future scalability. Monitoring is the practice of collecting and analyzing metrics over time. Metrics give insights into resource utilization, performance, and availability. Examples include CPU usage, memory consumption, request latency, and error rates. Let's look at two types of monitoring. Infrastructure monitoring, metrics on CPU, memory, disk usage, and network activity. Application monitoring, tracks app-level metrics like response times, request throughput, and error rates. Tools like Prometheus, Grafana, and CloudWatch make it easy to monitor both infrastructure and applications. Logs are essential for understanding what happened in a system at a specific point in time. Logs provide context, especially when debugging complex issues. Each entry is a time-stamped event, usually with a severity level like info, warn, error, or fatal. Logs are typically divided into two types. Application logs, messages generated by the application, like user activity or error messages. System logs, information from the OS, like process starts and stops, authentication, and system errors. Popular logging solutions include Elasticstack, Greylog, and Fluent. Tracing is vital for distributed systems, particularly microservices. Tracing allows you to track the path of a request as it travels through different services. This helps identify bottlenecks, failed services, and latency issues. For tracing, we often use tools like Jaeger or Zipkin. These tools provide visualization of request flows, making it easier to spot where delays or errors are occurring in a chain of services. Observability shines when you can correlate metrics, logs, and traces. For example, if you see an increase in error rates in your metrics, you can check the logs for recent error messages. Tracing can then help determine where these errors originated, providing a complete picture of the issue. Let's take a closer look at some tools used in observability. Prometheus, open source tool for collecting and querying metrics. Grafana, visualizes data from Prometheus and other sources. Elastic Stack, Elastic Search for storing logs, and Kibana for visualization. Jaeger, Distributed Tracing Tool for Monitoring Microservices, Fluent D, Log Collector, that helps centralize logs from various sources. With observability, you can set up alerts to get notified when something's wrong. For example, you might set a threshold for CPU usage and get an alert when it's exceeded. Automated responses, such as scaling out resources, can also be triggered based on these metrics. Common alerting tools include Prometheus Alert Manager and Grafana's alerting feature. Alerts can be sent via Slack, 
email, or other communication channels. Observability comes with its challenges, data overload, noise and alerts, and managing tool complexity. Best practices to combat these include prioritizing key metrics and log levels, creating actionable alerts to reduce noise, using dashboards for quick, high-level views, centralizing observability data for easy access. To wrap up, observability is a crucial practice in DevOps, enabling better visibility, faster troubleshooting, and more reliable systems. By implementing monitoring, logging, and tracing, you'll gain insights that keep your systems resilient and your users happy. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and see you next time.